And this is it. It's the Duff Roblin Parkway Trail, or as I call it, the Floodway. Riding the Floodway. Someone told me this is a really, really boring trail. There's not a lot to see, I'll agree, unless you want to stop and read all the little placards along the way, which is what I'd be doing if I was riding this trail with my wife. But I went out for a fast ride, and uh, there's the map. Uh, it doesn't really show you the left-hand side of the map, but trust me, we started over on the left-hand side, and then it just follows along the floodway. You can see some little drawings of trees. It's called Trees for Tomorrow. They're going to plant those tomorrow because, as you can see, there ain't no trees. There's no shade. So if you don't wear a helmet, which you really should, especially on this trail, um, you should at least wear a hat and some sunscreen and carry lots of water. The reason I like this trail is it's 45 kilometers long, and uh, it's there's there's no... You don't have to stop for traffic anywhere. You just give her the whole way. Um, there's one little crossing. Everything else you're going under. And the one crossing, it's very low traffic. Uh, you can probably skate through it. You can do an Idaho stop there if you want. Um, one thing you do want to watch out for is there are a ton of crickets on this. Uh, the gravel is rough. It's not if you press pause, you'll see that it's not that lovely limestone gravel. It's coarse. So you don't want skinny, skinny tires. You want a 28 at minimum, probably a 32. I'm riding on 29ers. Uh, and it was my first long ride on 29ers, so it was hard. And here comes one of those crickets that I was telling you about. Uh, they're attacking you the whole way, and it feels like kind of unpleasant dirt flying up at you. There he goes. That's Jiminy. He's looking for Pinocchio. He's going to save the world. Um, speaking of saving, the floodway is estimated to have saved Winnipeg over $3 billion in damages uh, from all of the floods that could have potentially damaged Winnipeg since the floodway was built. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, oh, now, I've got the camera mounted on the bike instead of on my helmet so you don't get distracted by me looking around, and I can speed it up. Who threw that garbage on the f trail? That's on the 59 highway. Just be careful of that. I'm going to call the 311 about that, see if I can get them to fix it. Anyway, um, yeah, coarse gravel, thick tires, bring lots of water, there's no shade, um, and now... Here's a little thing called uh, an excerpt from Wichita Vortex Sutra by Allen Ginsberg with music by Philip Glass and performed by me and my wife. our being 
like a sunny rose, all red with naked joy between our eyes and bellies. Yes, all we do is for this frightened thing we call love, want and lack, fear that we aren't the ones whose body can be beloved of all the brides of Kansas City, kissed all over by every boy of Wichita. Oh, but how many in their solitude weep aloud, like me, on the bridge over Republican River, almost in tears to know how to speak the right language, on frosty broad road uphill between highway embankments, I search for the language that is also yours. Almost all our language has been taxed by war. Radio antennae, high tension wires ranging out from Junction City across the plain, highway cloverleaf sunk in a vast meadow, lanes curving out past Abilene to Denver, filled with old heroes of love. Wichita, where McClure's mind burst into animal beauty, drunk, getting laid in a car in the neon misted streets 15 years ago, to Independence, where the old man, still alive, who loosed the bomb that slaved all human consciousness and made the body universe a place of fear. Now, speeding across the empty plain, no giant demon machine visible on the horizon, but tiny human trees and wooden houses at the sky's edge, I claim my birthright, reborn, forever, as long as man in Kansas or other universe, joy reborn after the vast sadness of the war gods. A lone man, talking to myself, no house in the brown vastness to hear, imagining the throng of selves that make this nation one body of prophecy, languished by declaration as pursuit of happiness. I call all powers of imagination to my side in this auto, all lords of human kingdoms to come. Shambu Baji Baba, naked, covered with ash. Kaki Baba, fat belly, mad with the dogs. Dehu Raha Baba ba, who moans. Oh, how wounded, how wounded. Sitaram Onkar Das Takur, who commands. Give up your desire. Sachananda, who raises two thumbs in tranquility. Kali Pada Guharoi, whose yoga drops before the void. Shivananda, who touches the breast and says, Oh. Sri Madhakrishna Ji of Rindaban, who says, Take for your guru, William Blake, the invisible father of English vision. Sri Ramakrishna, master of ecstasy, eyes half closed who only cries for his mother. Titania, arms upraised, singing and dancing his own praise. Merciful Shango, judging our bodies. Durgamar, covered with blood, destroyer of battlefield illusions. Million faced Tatakata, gone past suffering. Preserver Hare Krishna, returning in the age of pain. Sacred Heart, my Christ, Acceptable, Allah the Compassionate One, Yahweh Righteous One, all knowledge princes of earth man, all ancient seraphim of heavenly desire, devas, yogis, and holy men, I chant to you. Come to my lone presence, into this vortex named Kansas. I here declare the end of the war. Let the states tremble. Let the nation weep. Let Congress legislate its own delight. Let the president execute his own desires. This act, done by my own voice, published to my own senses, blissfully received by my own form, approved with pleasure by my sensations, manifestation of my very thought. All realms within my consciousness fulfilled. Sixty miles to Wichita, near El Dorado, the 
golden one. In chill earthly mist, houseless brown farmland plains, rolling heavenward in every direction. One midwinter afternoon, Sunday, called the day of the Lord. Pure spring water gathered in one tower where Florence is set on a hill, stopped for tea and gas. Yes, I was uh, riding on the floodway trail uh, just yesterday, and I noticed that someone had dumped a whole pile of garbage on the trail at Highway 59 southbound. Okay, uh, so that's just um, just south of the perimeter. Yes. I was wondering, too. <laughs> I'm going to have a look. I think it does. Um, it is our floodway. It is our floodway. I'm pretty sure it still falls under city, but I just want to make <laughs> sure. Give me one moment here. Yes. Okay. Just waiting for my map to <laughs> catch it. <laughs> I think we're I think we're good out to considered city property there. Right on. So we will put in a request. So is this just bags of garbage? It's like there's a dresser or like a bookcase. Oh my goodness. It looked like uh, someone drove a truck up to the side of the bridge over top and just dumped it down. Okay. Let me put in a service request to have that looked after. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Uh, legally dumped. And so they're just bulky items. There are some garbage bags, but a bunch of debris. Well, I had my helmet cam on. I can always just send a video of the exact location. Uh, that'd be perfect if you'd like to do that. Um, you can email that to 311 at winnipeg.ca. I can do that. Okay, and then I'm, what I'll do is give you a reference number. If you quote that reference number, then I'll be able to attach it to the... Um, uh, to, you know,
know, to to that uh, reference that we're going to put in for the department. Sure thing. Uh, so it is on public property. Not pick up. I don't know who dumped it. 